I've just made a 2x1 frame, screwed it together. That cut out's where the newel post is going to go. That's going to sit on the floor in the house. So I just need to put a few more screws in this, sit it on, and then I can push things around properly in place now that I'm happy that everything is sort of right. Right, so that's where I am at the moment. Nothing's glued together. I was just gluing this bottom frame together. And it's cut out there because the new post is there. And I'm going to have to cut this on site. I don't want to cut it now. I'll fit it to put the shape when I get there. Everything's going to get taken apart. But I need to put another end panel on here. That's going to fly past this. And like I was saying last night, that's going to give me my thickness there to create that that paneling sort of effect and and it's just as well I left this set up so I can just rip another one now right so I've just packed that out with some strips like I say I want that to be fatter there and I've got an end panel here and I'll put it on with a couple of screws down either side because the paneling that's going to go around it will cover that so something like that and maybe I should have this this needs to go over that needs doubling up again but maybe I should have run this right through don't really matter I think in my mind I was thinking that I'd have to fix this back to this so on the drawing I just showed it doubled up and I'm running out of board anyway so I don't know whether I'd get that it doesn't matter, panel will cover that. I'll get some screws in and I can think about putting this back panel on. So now I've got that, I can put this flush. It's going to have another board in there, but it doesn't matter. All I need is that to run in flush with that. I'll do that properly but now that I've got that I can get this distance here make a mark there and then there's going to be one board in here off I get a 9mm board on here first and then I'll, I can put a board in here before I put this back board on. It's only going to come to about here because this one's going to sit on top of it. That either end, I've got to create a door somehow. But I'll put a button on to take that. And I've just glued these together. They, they've got to come off so that I can sand the lip in when I put that on. So that'll come off then. But I'll cut this back now and screw it on. And the screw heads are showing on some of it, but they're just temporary fixings. I'll staple them on properly when I come to glue everything together. Right, so that's just temporary screwed on. Could have got away with 9mm, but then that just makes everything inconsistent. And it gives it nice, strong strength. It's going to be a seat probably as well, this. Now that's in. I can... Get this flush there. Oh, that's flush. I can work on that measurement. <laughs> Need me square. So I've got that measurement there. Cut a bar to go in here. That's going to be the full height. Or up to there anyway, where it slopes down. Then I can put this piece in and mark finally mark the diagonal. Right, you can see I'll be a bit creative with the offcut supply, just try and get it all out of the right sheets. Try and get it all out of four sheets. But after all that I'm still 20mm short here. 
but I've got the door to cut out and I'll give it a generous I don't know four mil or so so eight mil so I'll bring me halfway onto that board and it's getting cut off at this height that's my height there so it'll be getting cut off there and if I've got to put another piece on the top there it's no biggie like I say new cover posters about here be right so I'm gonna give that bit a gap cut the door give that a gap and then when they're all in the right place put that string line on the other side and cut them off then I can cut these ends and fit the top finally I've got my gaps like that because like these are going to be covered with panelling A string line there. Let's get this one out of the way and I can mark that string up there. That one's a little bit awkward but I'll just very carefully put a pencil line on each one. You can see Right, I wasn't happy with that little end, that piece being short, but as I hoped, there was plenty of offcuts. Just cut another one to the right size. So now from there, I can mark these ends, and cut them off. Same at the top there. see it but I took the corner off there because I've doubled this up I think it's because I've doubled it up but I've butchered that right because of the way it was sitting I had to work a little bit backwards but I can just see me just see me pencil line on that edge so hopefully it's okay so I screwed that panel on screwed that one that one's loose because it's going to become a door Go decide what I'm going to do at the bottom there. Fuck off. And now I can cut the top. That only needs to be straight cuts. Right, looks alright from this side. But you know that universal B word that I use occasionally? It's just there. When I cut this, cut it the same size as all the rest. I didn't allow it for it to sit on top of these, which it was supposed to. Bollocks. Mm, I think I can escape that. This is going to be a rail along here for coat hooks. You're not really going to get many coats on that. Anyway, put this rail on. I'll give something for that to sit on. Uh, I've just glued a piece on here. You won't see it inside, so that'll be okay. And I won't say anything when I go to a job. It'll just like it'll just look like it's supposed to be there. When it comes to it, I'm gonna put a big timber on here to tie that to that. And there'll be one across the bottom. Because like I say, I've got to create a door with a stop. But for now, I need to move that one over and get a couple more screws in this bit up here. But that's pulled it straight now. So it's sitting a bit better. I'm just putting a back panel on here to put coat hooks on. I couldn't find a piece of pine that isn't full of knots. Didn't really want to use a piece of beech. And this ply has got a very clean edge. You're not really going to see under there. Plenty of paint, maybe a little bit of filler. I've just cut this a little bit short there. But down there in that corner. Decorator's cork will sort that. And I'm going to put a 
little bottom rail you know to create the framework uh, I couldn't really run it through oh, it swings and roundabouts down there it's gonna be a 50 mil bottom rail one up there one up there now what I need to do is start getting some lippings cut the lippings in the house are less than 10 mil and this beach once it's plain down only comes out at 20 mil so if I was to rip it down the middle I don't know if I'd get two tens out of it I've got some off cuts down there I think I've just about got enough but I've got a very thin rip blade here I'm gonna give it a sharpen and have a go rip rip a small piece in half you see my little sharpener hasn't changed still got a clamp holding it in place works don't fix what ain't broke Right, just as a test piece, I'm playing this, it comes out at 22. The longer lengths might not do that, they might only come out at 20 mil, but as a test piece, I'll test this one. I've planed it all around, planed one square edge, and then planed it all around. So I've got one sawn edge, all I've got to do now is put these through the thickness up, like that. Right, while I was out there I cut them all. When they finish, just over 8mm, mil, 8.5mm. Mil. That'll do me. So that's where I've got at the moment. i pin this one on either side of there. This is going to be the door, so what I'm going to do Cut that off there And cut it there And then there's going to be some more of this Going down there A piece across there That might have to be very close to that joint I'll check the hinges. The hinges I've bought are 165 degree openers designed for 24 mil doors, so 18 and 9 is 27, it's close. And then there'll be another piece to go over there. And on the back, once I've cut that and cut them across there, I'll fix them to them two timbers. And then I'm going to put another strip over here that I can fix to them. Then this will drop on. No way to screw it back to this. Right, I'm going to rip this just a fraction above. I don't want it to be tight. And also the width of the blade should give me that clearance that I want.
uh, these pieces, like I say, are going to go underneath here, give this lip some support, to give this lip some support. So they'll go under like that. I'll glue and pin them on. The little chamfers to help stop these baskets banging it off. Right, I'm just taking it all apart. So I've got me different sections, that one, that one. The tall thing, the triangular thing, the base thing. That's the base to this. And the end panels. And I'm going to glue them all together properly in those one, two, three, and the panels. See, so that's the beading that's going on there. So I want to sand these lips off, give that a bit of a sand, and the top. Now I've taken everything apart, apart from that back frame that I glued together yesterday, but that all comes off as one. I took this apart, glued it together properly, screwed it together. And then this end panel is just screwed on at the base there. I'll glue that one on site. This unit got glued together and it got that got that little bead on underneath. But I've just glued this together. Now I can put this, that allows me to put this infill piece on. It's going to go up against there. That can go on permanently. And that's the end panel that gets screwed on. I'll fix that properly when I get to site. But once all these three are together, then I can think about where I'm going to hang the door. I need to put some timbers down here for the hinges. And I sort of wish I could have put this door, finished that door about there. But the electric meter's about there. We'll see when I get to site, but I didn't want to be too far this way and you couldn't see the electric meter. And it's been a bit of a messy build, this. I visited the job Monday, drew it Monday afternoon. Went shopping Tuesday morning, started building. Didn't really give me enough time to consider how how I would have made it. If I had the space, I could have laid this big frame down, maybe on the floor. Or, might have been easier just to build it on site, build it all in situ. It's done now, nearly there. Right, I've been working on the door. Lots of bits of wood, screwed and glued on to create a rebate for the door to stop against. Hinges are going to go on here, I know they need 65mm to get the plate on. It's not bad. I'll swing it and then if I've got to take off half a millimetre here and there, I can do. Right, these are the hinges that I'm using. Uh, 165 mil cabinet hinges. You see, they've got quite a long, quite a wide throw on them. So imagine that's my door. Be that way up. I ain't got any of this moulding, but this piece of wood just happens to be exactly the same size. I've just been fiddling with it. I can just get enough on there to cover that gap. I'll fix this on. That gives me plenty. I could even come a couple of more mil. 
and these hinges come with some fancy soft closers that clips on there and that one it's like a pusher that pushes against these anyway do the door now Right, it's on. I can't really close it properly because it's binding on this top corner. I knew that would happen. I'll just release that. Some planer's going to sort that top out. One thing I forgot to mention was see this? See this point here? I should have about 4mm there. But I made it a bit smaller because I wanted the door to be out this way so that it'd have clearance for. You know, I wanted it all to clear this way. So the gap's a bit bigger than normal, but like I said, this is going on there then. Now I've got it somewhat like. I can trim this end off. And the door needs to come up a fraction. But it's close at the bottom anyway. That'll get it shut in. I'll take a bit off that end. Right, that's not bad. Gap at top's parallel. That one's got plenty. That one's got plenty. But it's just a fraction tight on the bottom for me. So I'm just going to take like a saw width cut off the bottom. There ain't really any way I could have hide this. I was going to cut this bottom rail and attach that to the door, but then it'd end up sliding on the top of here. Plus, I think they might be putting like a hardwood top on here, so I had to lift the door up a little bit. I'll whip a bit off there, pin that down there, and another one over that gap. So, something like that. I am now wondering whether it should have another button there. Yeah. Loads of clearance on that. I had to shamper this one back as well. There's loads of clearance there. I don't want to slam it shut because I've just pinned that on. Thank you. 